Welcome to my homework rewards. Today we're going to solve uh, question 4.2 from Statics and Mechanics of Materials, second edition by Hibbler. It's an equilibrium of a rigid body prob uh, problem. Remember that you'll be able to download the full solution on myhomeworkrewards.com. The link will be in the description below. So we have someone, they are holding a stone 2 kilograms or 20 newtons force of gravity in their hand in equilibrium so nothing's moving and we have the humerus which is applying some forces to other bones in the body the radius and the ulna and we also have our friend our bicep applying a force holding everything together so the the question here is asking us to solve for the three forces fa fb and fc and we're going to neglect the weight of the arm so our game plan to solve this problem is first we'll draw as always, free body diagram. Next, we'll write out uh, the equations of the forces and the moments because there are three unknowns. And since this is a two-dimensional problem in the x and y direction, we'll only have two equations, forces, sum of forces in the x, sum of forces in the y. Three unknowns, two equations, so we'll need another equation. And for that, we will calculate the moment somewhere. And finally, once we have all those equations, we will solve for the three forces. So let's draw a free body diagram. I will greatly simplify this. Instead of redrawing all the bones, I'm just going to draw a straight line, which basically represents this line over here. We have the force from the stone over here. We'll call it F G 20 newtons. So if the stone is two kilograms, Force of gravity is m times g. g is basically 10. That's where the 20 newtons comes from. We have the force from the bicep over there. And this occurs at an angle, 75 degrees. We have Fa all the way over here. And we have Fc, which is being applied somewhere over there. So the distance from here to here is 20 millimeters. From here to here is 30. And the remainder will be the 350 minus 50, which is 300. So you can see this is not to scale, but it gets the point across. So now we have all the forces um, that are happening on the system. We're in equilibrium, which means the sum of forces in both directions is zero, so we can actually start writing out some of these equations. So for the sum of forces in the x direction, we had the positive Fc, and then we have the x component of Fb going in the opposite direction. And that's going to be cos of 75 because, as you can see over here, we draw a little triangle. The x component is opposite. And this equation is equal to 0. We don't know Fc or Fb, so we can't solve anything yet. Sum of forces in the y direction. Well, we have the positive Fb. but only the y component, which is opposite. Then we have negative Fa and negative Fg, which was 20. And that is also going to equal 0. Now, again, two unknowns, but we actually have three unknowns, Fc, B and FA and only two equations. So we're going to need to find the moment. Now you can do the moment calculation anywhere. You can do it over here, over here, but there's actually a convenient place to take it and that would be right here. We'll call it point B. The reason why we're going to take it at point B is because actually let us label this was FC and this was FA. 
So the reason why it's convenient to take the moment at that location is because FB goes through it and FC also goes through it. So what that means is that the moment is zero. The first time that I did this, I actually took it right at FC. So I will include that solution in the PDF since it is a valid option, but taking the moment at B is gonna be a lot easier for us. So we'll say the sum of moments at B Well, first we have FA, which is being applied at a distance of 50. And the direction of that is going to be in the counterclockwise direction. And then we also have FG, which is being applied at a distance of 300. And that's going to be the opposite direction because it's causing us to rotate this way. So minus 300 millimeters times 20 is equal to zero. So now you'll notice that these are in millimeters, but that's okay, as long as we're consistent. So this equation we can actually solve because we only have one unknown, FA. So this gives us FA is equal to 120 newtons, just from rearranging that. So now that'll allow us to solve the second equation over here which has FB and FA. So we'll say FB is equal to 20 plus 120 divided by sine 75, 11.94 newtons. That gives us FB. And we'll be able to solve this one over here, FC. That's just gonna be FB co 75. Which is equal to 37.51. And there you have it. So to recap, we drew a free body diagram. We wrote out the equations for the forces in the X and the Y directions. And then because we had three unknowns, we had to use a moment equation. And we chose to take the moment at point B because it was convenient that FC and FB both go through it, meaning that there's no moment, there's no um, tendency to rotate. And then we had three equations, three unknowns, and we were able to solve for the three forces. So the, the moral of the story is that if you're only lifting 20 pounds at the gym, don't feel so bad because the force that your bicep applies is actually much larger. And that has to do with the fact that your arm has some length and you're applying a force at a distance so it creates a moment. So your bicep has to apply a larger force. Thank you very much for watching. Um, as again, as always, you'll be able to download the solution at the bottom of the page. Check out my homework awards if you are looking for an adaptive learning platform that automatically tailors to suit your needs. You also get to earn rewards along the way from top brands. Thanks. Have a good one.